Hi, Ron from Clarity. In this video, we'll cover a client integration that we did integrating BigCommerce to Sage 100. This integration covered account and user registration and update syncs, as well as sales orders from BigCommerce to Sage 100. Coming back from Sage 100, we sync products, inventory, pricing account, updates, and more. Let's first start in BigCommerce with a user that we created called Jacob Claritin. As we look up this Jacob Claritin, it shows his Sage customer number and email address. I'm going to update his last name from Claritin to Clarity. I then navigate to connect and I'm going to run the accounts BigCommerce to Sage 100 pipeline. It synced two jobs from this account and another customer registration as well as his last name update that we just did. Going into the processing queue, I want to look into the syncs to see what accounts were created. The first one was for a Ruben Guerrero at Ray Zoyo. And you can see all the account information from their registration in Big Commerce that were syncing to Sage 100. Back out to the logs, we'll drill into the second sync, which as you can see is the Jacob Claritin, now Jacob Clarity account that I just updated. If you look closely, you can see in the first line that I left his email Jacob Claritin at Clarity MIS, but his last name is updated to Clarity. If we go back into Big Commerce and grab Jacob's customer number, 01302228, and pop into Sage 100, we'll search for this new account. We should see both the new account information as well as the updated last name Clarity that we finished after they registered in Big Commerce. To demo the bi-directional sync capabilities of the integration, and since they're a new customer, we need to assign them a tax schedule. So on this account, in Sage, we'll go down to the tax schedule field and look at our options. As Jacob is a reseller, we'll set his account to non-tax, which when synced to BigCommerce means that during checkout, we automatically won't collect sales tax. Next, we'll head back into Connect Look up and kick off the account Sage 100 to BigCommerce Sync Pipeline. This one ran very quickly as it was only syncing one field and one record. So we'll head back into BigCommerce and we're still on the Jacob Clarity page. So all we have to do is refresh our page, go down and see if we've updated their tax schedule, which in BigCommerce is synced into the tax exempt code field. And you can see here it's set to non-tax accordingly. So to review, we registered a new user and an account in BigCommerce. We updated their last name in BigCommerce dashboard after we registered and synced the account and user record into Sage 100. We did a search in Sage for that customer ID and found that new account with their ID, user email, and more created from the sync. Then to show the bi-directionality, we edited the Sage 100 record, setting their tax schedule to non-taxable and ran the sync from Sage to Big Commerce. Back into Big Commerce, we refreshed the Jacob Clarity record and saw that we updated the tax exempt code status to non taxable. So, that was a quick demo of bi directional integration between Sage 100 and Big Commerce, which also works with sales orders, payments, products, inventory, pricing, and much more. Thanks for watching.